Saudi Arabia, but I'm from Somalia, and I have three brothers and one sister, and I'm the youngest one. And this picture, I wanted to put my brothers in it, because we're going to do um, someone I love, so I just put down my brothers on them, because they wanted to be in the picture. Do you want to read to me what you wrote? My brothers are my best friends in the world. They do a lot for me. They help me with my homework. They give me things and play with me. I love my brothers. That's very good. And this one, I wanted to show my hands and all shooting. So my hand was showing. I like basketball a lot because yeah. this is the show. Um, I like to play it and I like to shoot around and stuff. Do you think you'll grow up being a basketball player? I don't think so, but I'll just play basketball. Yeah. My brother, he had this one old crown he wore because he had to do a play. Uh -huh. He played a king. He didn't need his crown no more, so I just wore it. Cool. Huh. Cool. So what did you learn from um, taking these pictures and writing? I learned that you can make pictures like this and they'll look different mm -hmm. and stuff. And that you have to hold the camera still to take a picture. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll continue taking pictures and um, writing? And... I don't know. <laughs> but do you like it? Yeah. That's pretty neat when you get to see the results, right? Yeah, you did a really good job. Self-portrait is my little baby sister. I chose her as my self-portrait because I love her. Because <laughs> you love her? Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's an interesting photograph. What exactly is she doing there? Uh, she's trying to get the thing from the stroll. Oh, okay. She's playing with it. And did you use a flash on that? I or, do you remember? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I like my face, how it looks. Um, because I can see lots of things with my eyes. I can talk with my mouth, mm. breathe through my nose, hear with my ears, and... And why did you close your eyes? Because the sun was in my face. <laughs> Christine, why don't you tell me about the Pipeline Project and how you got involved? Um, I'm Christine Stickler, director of the Pipeline Project. Pipeline Project's been around for about nine years, and its goal is to make sure that there's not an undergraduate on campus that wants to work in the K-12 world that doesn't have the opportunity to do it. And so we send out about 900 students a year um, to the K-12 schools. And this project came about because I became fascinated with the work of Wendy Ewald, um, who's been doing literacy to photography for 30 years around the world. And I went back and took a workshop and came back. and tried to see if I could find someone out in the school world who would be willing to have a chaotic project come into their classroom and I found Ruth. <laughs> Yay, Ruth! <laughs> I, I teach at Olympic Hills Elementary, fourth and fifth grade, and I, I, can't, I don't know exactly how Christine showed up at the doorstep, <laughs> but she showed up at the doorstep and said, do you want to do this thing with pictures and kids? I went, okay, mm -hmm. okay, writing, kids, pictures, go for it. Sounds like a good idea, right? Sounds like a great idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did it last year, and I was really impressed by how engaged the kids were. Mm -hmm. This was something that mattered to them, and the pride that they took in the pictures that they took of themselves. It's like, oh, I can take a picture of myself, and it means something, and somebody else might care. It was mm -hmm. quite stunning. That's great. And then we had the opportunity again this year. And, and she been, said yes. And I said yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again. And it's been, it's been way better, because mm -hmm. we learned some things last year. And I think the kids were more involved this year. The kids did more, it seems they did more of the parts of putting it together, uh, particularly including putting their, their whole uh, show together. Mm -hmm. Mounting, uh, mounting it, it and framing it. I think it was yeah. really important to them mm -hmm. because they got to choose how it goes and they put it the way they wanted it. Mm -hmm. And so they're fully invested in it. So do you think the kids, um, you know, when they go home and they tell their parents about it, you know, how is it that they incorporate that into their lives? Do you think they're using it outside the classroom or do um, you think it's something, you know, that they're going to have to go on with? I think it's enabling them to, to think more, mm -hmm. to think about things differently than they used to. For a start, they look at pictures now differently. 
they make comments about pictures oh, that it used to be. Before mm -hmm. a photograph was just a photograph, it was just a picture, it's like, eh, whatever. Right. And now it's like, oh, well, what else is in there? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. And so they're doing a whole lot more thinking. I was a classroom teacher for 15 years and had always done writing with kids and I'd also done photography, but separately. And I have been amazed by the magic that happens when kids use, like Ruth said, the process of really thinking, what do I want to have in this picture that's going to reflect me? And then when they get the pictures back and they actually look at them and choose the one and then start writing, a lot of times kids who've had very, um, you know, a lot of difficulty putting thoughts down on paper, especially if, you know, English is not their first language, there seems to be some barriers that are broken when there's this image that generates the writing. And when I took the workshop myself, I actually experienced it. So I know that there's something, I can't explain it, I don't know what's happening in the brain, but there's mm -hmm. something that happens when there's a visual image that generates the writing and you produce that image. Right. So I just um, am so excited. And this was my first chance to actually be out doing it with kids. And mm -hmm. I um, am never going to go back. That's I'm fantastic. I'm never going to go back. I love the picture of his hand. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Did you know that he was doing these particular shots? Or? I knew he was, well... I didn't know he was doing the hand shot. Uh -huh. I took the picture of him with his cat. Right. And he took the picture of me. Yeah. So I knew some of the shots he took, but yeah. I really like the hands because yeah. I, I like what he says about them too, especially the last sentence. <laughs> oh, about the um, his <laughs> brother. His knuckles. Yeah. Until he blows up. <laughs> that's a great idea. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> because that's what he does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, the thing about kids, they're so honest, you know, and they just tell it like it is. Yeah, it's well, really glad great. you came. Thanks, yeah. I'm glad I'm here too. Yeah. And thanks for doing the project, it's really terrific. Yeah, kids are great. I mean, Ben's, he's so creative, and when he's told to do, you know, his little project, he just goes right to work. And, yeah. He's a good boy. Yeah, he is. Very good boy. Yeah. All right, so Sam, tell us about your photos. Mm -hmm. Me and my friend and we were eating breakfast, so I asked him if we could take pictures together. So we agreed and... Um, Pictures. Yeah. Um, okay. So you're either by and what about or you're reading this little pictures. girl? Is this your sister? No, she's my mom's friend's daughter. She's so cute. <laughs> she is cute. I really love her. She, I wish she was my sister. Uh huh. Every um, time I go to her house, I have to carry my kiss for <laughs> And this one's really nice. Uh, your best part of me. And you chose your face. How come? Because like the face is a main part of my body because like we get to see, we get to eat, and we get to hear stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you've done this project before last year, right, with Christine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your thoughts on it? Do you like it? And I, I like it. Yeah. I wish I can do it like every year. You want to do it every year? And do you think um, you'll go on and do photography now that you've learned some things about it and yeah. do some writing? Where did you get it? This is when I was getting ready to go to school. I just took out my hands and took a picture of myself. Then what was it taken? In my room. I mean, in my room when I was getting ready to go to school. All right, so was it dark? Because it looks like it's really yeah, dark in the background. Yeah, it was dark. Room. Is there a flash then? No flash? No. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this is when I was in my room. And before, like, when I, when I woke up, I, was, I looked at, I took my camera and I yeah. just said, I'm going to take a picture of this. So, can you tell me about some of this stuff here? This is my collection of brats, and my brother, he gave me the bobby, bobby head of each row, uh -huh. and the bobby head of one of the Sonic players. And then this picture here, it looks like yep. you're on the playground? That was when we were at school taking our pictures for the best part of me. I did my arms, because they're very flexible. They are pretty flexible. Uh, I found out about Wendy Ewald's work, um, who started the Literacy Through Photography program um, when I was in school at Western Washington University, and I was studying photography and anthropology. Mm -hmm. um, and I came across the idea, and I really, really liked it, and so I started to find out as much as I could, and actually visited um, about two weeks ago the center in Durham, North Carolina, um, and found out that Christine Stickler was working here in Seattle with that program and trying to get it started, and I really... Um, got some good information about the program and came and met with Christine and was really excited about the work she was trying to start here. Mm -hmm. um, and I really like kind of like the collaborative approach where kids get to express themselves 
through kind of alternative forms as opposed to just uh, reading and writing assignments. And it's a really good way for, for kids to be able to explore some pretty big ideas about family and identity and community. And mm -hmm. So I, I really like what kind of comes out of that. It gives them a lot to talk about in class, I think. <laughs> it's pretty amazing what they've done. I mean, just looking around at these photographs, um, some of them really in depth aren't they? I mean, they're very honest. Yeah, they're very, I think, I think the great thing about working with kids in this age is they feel really comfortable, I think, still really expressing themselves very openly and honestly and, and can take a lot of pride in doing this kind of work and aren't kind of embarrassed to show, show it off, which is really great. Right. Yeah, until you get older and then Yeah, and then you get a little more shy and self-conscious yeah. about yourself, but yeah. these kids definitely don't seem to have that. They've been pulling me, come look at my photos, come look at my photos. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, this is me and my sister. She is pretending to be an English queen, and then she's pretending that this, the dead flowers behind my, the dried flowers behind my head are a hat. I'm on my school playground in this picture, and then here's my teacher in the background. You can, you can barely see her. She's like a centimeter tall, but, and then, um, here's my sister. She's wearing her bicycle helmet backwards. So Daisy, can you tell me, um, what was your favorite part about this project? Well, my favorite part about this project was that I got to take the pictures and have my t pictures taken. Uh -huh. And um, the most part of it that I liked the best was that uh, getting the pictures and then maybe something's funny in the pictures and so it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I learned that if you can put the um, two people in a picture instead of one. You get more color, just even if it's black and white, because th if they smile, it's a bunch of color in the picture. So. Well, you're a good writer, and um, I might really appreciate you talking to us and showing us your photos. You did a really good job. Thank you. And your mom's here, right? Yeah, she's over there. Yeah? She's coming over here. Maybe your mom can tell us uh, yeah, next to me. a little bit about uh, what you think about Pipeline Project and how you think it's influenced your daughter. Well, what I think about it is that it is um, something that's beneficial for my child right now. It's ex I think education is good when it's experiential, it's hands-on, and kids kind of get a feel for what, what, you know, what the real thing is going to be about. Mm -hmm. And plus then, when they're here, at the at the UW, you kind of get might give them a little taste of what you know might be interested in coming to the UW for that. But um, my daughter's been known for her drawings and her writing, and I'm pretty proud of her. Oh, that's great! Yeah. So you'd like to see this project continue? Oh, absolutely. Photograph is just a photograph, it's just a picture, it's like, eh, whatever. Right. And now it's like, oh, well, what else is in there? What does that mean? And so they're doing a whole lot more thinking. Uh -huh.